Hello guys, I'm Shaima. Okay, in this tutorial video, we'll be doing custom tiling. So you guys can go to customize, then go to tiling function. Okay, and then just double click on your floor. Okay, so this is inside plain view. Okay, plain mode. First things, you can go to display, hide your furniture. Okay, hide your furniture. And then, I will explain the basic button first. You can draw rectangle. Draw one rectangle here, another one here. Okay, right click to cancel. You can select one by one like this. And you can select the intersect part and move it. Okay, so this one will be union. It will be one shape. Okay, delete. Then you can try draw straight line. This one is a straight line. Okay, right click to cancel. You can select it one by one like this. It will divide into two sections when you draw straight line. Another one is circular. Okay, you can draw circle shape. Okay, and then last one is polyline. Okay, for polyline, you can draw any shape. And then right click to cancel. Okay, this one you can select, but this one cannot. So to select it, you right click on the line, transfer to area. So it will become a shape and you can select it. Okay, on your left side, this is a planner library. You can drag the plan, any plan to the shape. Okay, you can scroll down here. We have hexagonal shape. Okay, so this one is a tiling plan. Okay, you can see in the camera inside here. Okay, so this is how it looks like on the floor. Right, you can right click to delete. Okay, go to clear, select the shape, delete. Right click, if you press delete button, this one may only delete one tile. Okay, so you go to clear. So you will clear out all the tiling inside. Okay, then. Okay, we're gonna start customizing the floor. Before we custom the floor, you can draw a straight line. Okay, draw a straight line to divide it into two sections. Okay, you can draw a straight line here. Okay, you can draw again from here to here and then right click to cancel. Okay, you can see it divides into two sections. Alright, now on your left side, you can see got scheme combination. Okay, see got this one is one layer, this one got two layer. You can create this scheme uh, by using border, this one, border function. You can create one, two, three layer. Okay, so let's say we create two layer. Just draw back the rectangle shape on the dialing area, this one. Right click to cancel. And then you can zoom a bit. Okay, zoom a bit. See the layer here, got two layer. And then you can go to tile library. Okay, go to tile library. Select any tile from here. This one is glaze tile. You can change here. Okay, we have a lot of types here. We have soft marble. Okay, we have wooden floor. Okay. Let's say we use marble, drag any tiles from here, drag to the first layer. Okay, zoom a bit. Okay, drag to the first layer. Then to fill it up, you can right click. Okay, go to fill. Right click, go to fill. You can see it fill out along the first layer. And then you do the same thing on the second layer. Drag any tile. Let's say we go to glaze tile. Drag one to the second layer. This one you can press F button, shortcut key to fill. Okay, shortcut key to fill button. Okay, you can see it fill out along the second layer. Then for the middle part, you can go back to plan library. Okay, drag out any plan you like. Like this one is 45 degree tile. Just drag inside. And then you go back to tile library. Drag a new tile. Okay, drag the new tile to the plan. It will change. Okay, this is how it looks like. Alright, how to copy this tile to the left side, to the living area. Okay, you can just select the side line. Okay, this side line. Select it and drag to the left. Okay, all the way to the left side and it will copy to the living room area. Okay, so you don't need to draw one more time to add the living area. You just select the side line and drag it. Okay, another method you can try. Okay, drag one tile from here let's say we go to candy glaze okay drag one tile inside okay so here you can see got three mode okay this one three mode installation okay you can cut the tiling 
to smaller size okay vertically horizontally or diagonal shape okay so this one you can adjust the sizing huh? okay once you cut it you still can adjust the sizing okay adjust the width and the height okay down here got paving way paving means copy you can copy it like this okay Okay, so another one is stagger paving. Stagger paving is like this. Okay, it's like a checkerboard. And then the third one is misplace. Okay, the fourth one is space paving. Got space between the tile. Last one is area covered. Okay, it covers all the area. Okay, so this is copy method. And down here is the brick adjustment. Okay, brick adjustment is the lining around the tile. You can change the color. Okay, let's say we change to gold color. Click the area. Okay, so this one is the thickness of the lining. Let's say 5 mm. This one you can rotate 45 degree rotation. Rotate your tile. Okay, and then down here is the tile thickness. Okay, once done, you can click, uh, right click on the tile. You can use this one. Fill, random fill, center fill, or location mix. You can try one by one. Huh? Okay, and then you can click, uh, you can see the outcome. Okay, this is how it looks like. Okay, you can click complete. Okay. So the lining cannot see. If you cannot see, you can select one tile, adjust the thickness, let's say 10 mm. Click complete. Okay, you can see the lining, zoom a bit, see got yellow color, gold color. Okay, you need to adjust the uh, thickness in order to see the color of the lining. Alright, so this is brick adjustment. Okay, the third one is water jet library, this one. Water jet library, this one people will use to draw a hotel lobby or any conference hall. You can just drag on top of the tiles and you can rescale it. Just drag the corner here. You can rotate it. Okay, on the right side, all the material you can change. Huh? Okay, you can change all the material. If you click complete, this is how it looks like. Okay, you still can select and adjust the material inside here. Okay, same thing with the flooring we did just now. You can select and adjust inside here. Let's say we change one material. Okay, change one material. Let's say we go to porcelain, select any sizing. Okay, see it will change off, but this one will follow the tile size. Okay, you can see the sizing 600, uh, 300. Okay, so this one is water jet. You can select and delete it. Last one is line library. Okay, for line library, this one is for skirting. Okay, you can drag any skirting pattern to the floor. Okay, you can enlarge the camera. See the skirting? Right, so this is the skirting. It will uh, build along uh, to the whole area. Okay, if you select the skirting, you can adjust the sizing here. This is the height. Okay, and then here is the color. You can use the same material as the tile up to you okay and then down here style you can change the skirting style okay change to another model okay other profile okay so this is for skirting if you want to delete it you need to press complete first okay right click go to remove skirting or delete unlateral if you click delete unlateral it will only delete one skirting at this wall only if you remove skirting it will remove the whole skirting all right so this is line library okay and then you can also export the tiling you go to drawing okay we have a few types of export first is planar graph okay for planar graph is like this all. okay you can adjust the format okay horizontal or vertically okay, the listing of the tile on the left side or the top side you can also change the paper size a4 to a3 and you can put logo here and then click export up. Alright, 
and then another one is process chart okay process chart is like this okay it's a listing of your tiling okay you can see the sizing all the cutting profile okay you can click export once you click export this one will be in excel file you still can edit it all right and then last one is regional process table okay for region you can select any region you like okay on the dining or the living area okay and then it will list down the tiles on that region only this region only no okay same thing this one will be in excel file and you can still edit it okay so we have done with the tiling function you guys can try out. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.